Banking tips and banking troubleshooting. That's what today's video is all about. Okay, let me show you some ways to find some bank transactions. If you go straight to your bank name, that'll take you into your transactions. Now you might already know that there's a search box here. If we knew we were searching for an exact amount, let's say we're looking for this payment to Mary Martin, we could choose exact amount, key in the amount, and we can find it. If we clear that, Let's also look at putting Mary Martin into the description, search, and again, we find it clear. Back to where we were, we have our transactions for the month. If we were looking for a certain value or we maybe had an idea of the value, we can sort by these headers. So you can sort your transactions into the spend amount. So there's low to high, click again, you'll get high to low, and you could do the same with received. So low to high, high to low. Okay, so remember our Mary Martin transaction we were looking for, and we know the amount is 150040. If we were back on our dashboard, let me show you this. Go to the spyglass, key in that value, and here it is. So that's just some ways to find your bank transactions in zero. Okay, let me show you a very quick way to get to your bank account transactions for a month. If you go down to the bottom of your dashboard, if you're like a lot of people, you possibly haven't paid a lot of attention to this chart here. We've only got transactions in this demo company for the month of August, but if you hover over the chart, you can see blue is the money in, Grey is the money out. So very quickly you can see the money that came in, the money that went out and the difference for the month. You can also click on the chart and it takes you into a bank summary for the month. You've got two separate bank accounts. If you're only interested in one of them, let's say the current account. If we click on the current account, we can now see our transactions for the month of August. It's not a report, so you can export this information, but you can very quickly see the transactions for the month. If you're on your dashboard and you find that the bank account that you use most frequently is not at the top of your list, then you can simply move your bank accounts around. This is what you need to do. You go to Edit Dashboard, I want my current account to be at the top, so I'm going to drag it up. That's where I want it to be and save the changes. Okay, here's another thing you might want to do. Maybe you've got a bank account that you no longer use. Let's say, for example, you've switched bank accounts. You don't want to get rid of it in zero, but you don't want it to appear on your dashboard anymore. So again, we're going to edit dashboard. And if we go down to the credit card, we don't use it anymore. We can see we have this option to untick, save changes. And now on the dashboard, it's no longer there, but it does still exist. If we wanted to go to it, we could choose the accounted menu, bank accounts, and we would find it still here. Okay, here's what's happened. You're on your zero dashboard. You're busy reconciling your bank. You've got 12 more transactions to reconcile. And then you suddenly think, wait a minute, these transactions were not from the savings account. These transactions were from the current account. So what you've done is you've manually imported a bank statement to the wrong bank account. Oh dear. Okay, so here's what you need to do. You need to go back to your dashboard Go to the bank account where you've made the mistake, click on the three dots and choose bank statements. Then we're going to change from statement lines and we're going to choose statements. And here's the statement that we imported in error. I can choose it. And then if I scroll down to the bottom, I have an option here to delete this entire statement. Now what you will see I've already dealt with three of the transactions. There were 15 transactions. I've already entered three of them. 
the others I haven't. After I'd entered three, I realized what I had done wrong. So bearing that in mind, we're going to say, delete the entire statement. I get a warning message and it says, do you also want to delete the reconcile transactions for this statement? And in this instance, I do. So I will simply say, delete. Now, if we go back to the dashboard, go to our savings account, and this time we see absolutely no transactions. And that's correct. I hope you find the video useful. If there's anything you'd like to see in a video, please let me know. You never know, I might be able to add it to my list. If you need help with your zero account, I'm available for one-to-one -one coaching. And there's a link in the description below where you can access my calendar. Until next time, happy zeroing.